This video shows you how you can remove a password in Windows 11. Now, if you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, this video shows you how you can remove a password in Windows 11. Now, why would you want to do that? There might be many reasons. It might be that you're just simply fed up of typing the password in. You might be lending your laptop to someone else. It might have to go into a computer shop for repair and you don't want them to know your password, your normal password. It might be that it's going back to the manufacturer under warranty to be repaired. There could be several reasons, but regardless of that, this guide is gonna show you how. Now, there might be a couple of different ways of doing this. It really does depend on how you originally set the computer up and whether or not you're signing in with a Microsoft account, a PIN, or a local account with a password. So let's just have a look first of all where we need to go. So first of all, all we need to do is we need to click on the start button in the bottom of the screen. That is the four blue boxes. Move your mouse over it. And if you've got the right thing, it should actually come up with a little caption saying start. Once you see that, left click and then you should get a screen like this here. Now, what you're looking for is settings. Now, if you can't find settings, click where it says type here to search and actually just type the word settings. OK, and hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see settings app. Move your mouse over that left click once then this settings box should appear. Now, what you're looking for is you're looking for accounts down the left hand side there. If you don't see accounts, then move your mouse over the three horizontal lines just to the left of settings and left click once and then you should see accounts appear. Move your mouse over it, left click. Then hopefully if you scroll down the page, you should find sign in options and it should say below it windows hello security key password dynamic lock move your mouse over that left click once and then you should see password now don't worry if you don't see this we'll go through another way of finding these details shortly so but if you do see password left click on it and as you can see on mine it says you're all set up but you've got an option here, a box just to the right that says change. Move your mouse over change, left click. And now it asks for your current password. That is the password that you sign into the computer with, the password that we're trying to remove. So I'm just gonna enter in my password. Oh, done that wrong. I've typed it in and then click next. And there we go. It now asks us for a new password, but we're gonna remove the password. So don't put anything in there. Don't type anything in new password, confirm password or password hint. Just move your mouse over next at the bottom of the screen and left click. And it comes up here. Next time you sign in, use your new password, click finish. So it now says changing your password. We can test this out just simply by clicking on the cross just up there. Click on the start button, click on our username just down there and then click sign out, let the computer sign out. When we get the date and time on the screen, press a key on the keyboard or click a mouse on the mouse button and then click sign in. And then hopefully it shouldn't ask for a password and it should just go straight in. Okay, so going back, if you've got a Microsoft account, then you will not see the change password option or password option under sign in option. So what do you do? Well, first of all, we've got to remove the Microsoft account from the computer. You can't remove the password if you're signing in with your Microsoft account into Windows 11. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go back to accounts and then scroll down and go into your info just there. So left click once. And here under account settings, it's got Microsoft accounts. Windows is better when settings and files automatically sync. So here we're going to have to change this. We're going to have to click sign in with a local account instead. So move your mouse over that left click 
And here, it's asking us, are you sure you want to switch to a local account? Windows works better when you sign in with Microsoft. Switching to a local account means you won't see your personalized settings on all your devices. And you might be asked to sign in again if you want to access info associated with your account. If you still want to continue, go to the next step to verify your identity. So click on next. So now it's asking for your password for your Microsoft account. That's not your PIN number if you've been signing in with a PIN. It's your password for your Microsoft account. Now, if you've forgotten this because you haven't used it in, in a while, you might have to go to Microsoft.com, try and sign in. And if you can't sign in there, click on the prompts if you've forgotten your password and then reset your password. Or you could try clicking more choices there. And if you can remember your pin, this is what you'd normally sign in with. You can click on pin and type in your pin number instead of your password. So here we go. It's saying enter your local account info. Now, if we're removing the password, then really we don't need to touch any of the boxes. All we need to do is move your mouse over next at the bottom of the screen, left click once. And it says switch to a local account. You've almost finished. Make sure that you save your work before you sign out and use your new local account info the next time you sign in. So here we go. So we've got an option here, sign out and finish. So let's left click that once. And it's going to sign us out. And then once you see the time, press a key on the keyboard or click a button on the mouse. And here we go. You can just click sign in there. No passwords required. And the next time you start your computer, it won't ask you to click sign in either. It will just start up and take you straight into the Windows desktop and you can get going just like this. You can get going straight away. So there you go. That guide showed you a couple of methods of removing your password from Windows 11. I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not help support this channel? If you're looking for a VPN or a Fire TV stick, have a look in the description of this video. We've got some great offers for you using the links in the video to purchase either a VPN or a Fire Stick does help support this channel. And also whilst you're here, why not have a look around my YouTube channel? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, amuse you, entertain you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CW Tech and my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.